I'm here at Art Common Golf Club with uh, Johnny from J. Air Boker. He's just going to talk us through some pre start checks on a ride on mower. Hey, you alright, everyone? Now, this is um, so a Toro 3420. Um, it's relatively modern greens mower. Um, you know, this is more for the golf club side of things. However, the checks we're going to do now, um, this is on any. Um, petrol or diesel um, ride on mower really um, this one's hydrostatic um, so obviously it's got hydraulic oil uh, some of yours will be belt driven um, but we'll, we'll check everything um, and if you're unsure on where any of these things are that I'm going to check just uh, go to your manuals and they'll tell you where all these items are um, that I'm going to show you now um, so first things this is your air filter. Um, most of them look very similar. Um, obviously, this is probably one of the most important filters on your engine for stopping engine damage. Um, this, this filters all the air going in into your engine. Um, a lot of these have got a system of self-cleaning. Uh, on this one, it's this little do for here. Uh, just, you can give them a squeeze, check if there's any muck in there. Uh, but most of the time. Um, before you go out on any machine, you know, just check it out, check the condition of it. That one's relatively dirty, but this is near on due for a service, so that'll be replaced. Um, sometimes you might find there's grass build up on here, um, but to test if there's any loose muck in it, literally, you can give it a give it a tap on the machine. Um, there's nothing really coming out of this, um, but like I say, with that sort of dirt in this, this is nearly ready for changing, um, so that'll be done soon. Uh, so that's number one. Right, now we've got your engine coolant. This is your expansion tank. Uh, this fills the radiator and allows the water to expand as the radiator gets hot and cold. Um, this will have a safe high, um, safe, warm temperature and a safe, cool temperature. Um, like I say, always make sure, you know, usually before you do your pre-start checks, the engine will be cold, of course. Um, so always make sure it's on the, um, it's on the safe, cold level. Um, if this is empty, um, you know, if you come to it and it is completely empty, pop the radiator cap off and just check that there's coolant in there, up to the top there. Um, and if there's not, Top it up with the, the recommended antifreeze for your machine. Right, engine oil is probably the most important, really. Um, I don't want to say that because all these are important, but you know, without this, uh, you'll go up in a, a puff of smoke. Um, so on, on your engine, you'll have a dipstick just like a car. Um, so what you want to do is you want to pull your dipstick out, give it a wipe with a nice rag, make sure it's clean. Uh, again, these are located in different places on your engines, um, so if you're struggling finding it, just revert to your manual, um, dip it again, and then check the level. As you can see, that's the high level, um, and the low level's down here somewhere, so that is safe. Um, so that's absolutely fine. Again, this is due for a service, so that will have just been used in its year of, uh, year of use. Now on hydrostatic machines with hydrostatic cutter heads um, and hydrostatic drive, etc., you'll have a hydraulic reservoir on it somewhere. Um, this one happens to have a sight gauge on it. As you can see down here, uh, there's a sight gauge here. Um, some will be like a little, uh, like a little window um, in the middle of a big bolt, what looks like a big bolt. Um, as long as you can see oil in the middle of there, then that's fine. This has got levels on it. Um, and that's perfectly safe. Uh, some will have a dipstick on, um, so again, you must check it. Um, if it's low, top it up with what they recommend. And diesel, the amount of machines I've been out to that have run out of fuel and they've conked out in the middle of the field. Um, I mean, running out of diesel is not a good thing to do on a, on a cricket field or anything like that, because if you have to, you know, um, if you have to bleed the diesel system up, chances are you may get a bit of diesel on your grass. It'll, it'll kill your grass stone dead. Uh, so always check that there's fuel in it um, and always make sure you're, you're relatively full when you go out. Um, so 
I mean, these are just basic pre-start checks and they'll save you an awful lot of money. If you keep your pre-start checks done, keep everything topped up, nice and bonnet, um, it'll, it'll save you a lot. Um, and all you need is a, a rag. <laughs> that should be the only tool you need. Thanks, Johnny. Yeah.